Okay, this video is on prepping a drive for imaging. Um, I've got up uh, the drive bay that we use, the IDSonics uh, drive bay, and it's showing a picture of putting in the uh, exact same drive I'm about ready to put in. Uh, basically, we go through and test the drives, but in order for the image to work and everything to work the way we want it, we already have to have initialized the drive. So I'm going to drop it in the drive bay and turn it on, and when I turn it on, we're going to see a new drive pop up under disk management, management, which you see just happened right there. It is unallocated, nothing's been done to it, so the first thing we have to do is go over on the right-hand side, right-click and say initialize the disk. Just say OK, uh, and then it's going to come back back up that now the disk is initialized and online so now on the right hand side where it says unallocated I'm going to right click and say new simple volume I can just enter right through here and it's going to go and quick format that drive and get it all ready and now when we put it in to our two drive system it will be able to set up the uh, user files on this as our D drive if we didn't do this and we just set up a solid state and image to it and had this as our extra drive, nothing would work because it would not be set up ahead of time as a formatted drive. So we need to make sure that happens. You can see it popped open that the, it's empty. At that point, if I'm doing a bunch, I can just turn off the drive bay. It went away. I can pull it out. I can stick a new one in. I can turn it on and repeat the process until I've got however many drives I need to get done. Again, I just right click over here and initialize the disk and say OK. And then once it's initialized, I right click over here and say new simple volume. And I'll go through those screens. You're going to say next. You're going to use the full disk. Next. Doesn't matter what the drive letter is. We're not using it on this computer. Next. Uh, you're going to format it with quick format. If you wanted to, you could type users in there because it's going to be where the users folders are. But it doesn't really matter hit enter it's going to say hey I'm going to set this up I hit finish and then basically as soon as it's done quick formatting you'll see Windows Explorer pop open give it a 10, 10 second uh, pause to make sure it's done writing to that drive in fact I watch the little light and wait for the light to st uh, stop saying it's writing that drive in case it's doing a delayed write and once it's done with that I just turn the sucker off and pull it out and go on to the next drive so that's all it is to initializing drives for our use in the two drive system. We have to do this for both large and small drives, i.e. both full sized and laptop drives. Make sure they're initialized before we put them in to the system.